I bought this shrinker stretcher um, recently and I want to show you guys how I am going to use it uh, and making uh, certain little pieces of metal for my GTO here. Um, it is the cheapest shrinker stretcher that I found um, most reasonable in price. So it, it's a bending capability up to three inch radius. It bends uh, sheet metal, 16 gauge aluminum, 18 gauge mild steel, and 20 gauge uh, stainless steel and mild steel, of course. It's powder coated. It's pre-drilled holes for the base. I am going to show you uh, how I uh, I use it. Um, I opened it up because I am making this video by myself. But here we go. This is the shrinker stretcher. Um, and I am going to show you. comes in here. Everything's pre-packaged. Plastic. Very nice. Um, this in yellow is, let me see here, this is the stretcher. The yellow is the stretcher, okay, and let me put that away in the garbage, and the black one is the shrinker. So, um, I am going to show you how this all works way garbage there yep this is the stretcher uh shrinker sorry if you see here i want to show you see the arrows going inwards that's how i know it's the shrinker and the yellow one the arrows go in the opposite direction is the stretcher the only thing with this kit that when i bought it this uh these teeth in here were actually reversed and it wasn't working so if you do happen to get it make sure that the teeth are going in the proper direction i didn't take it back to the store i just uh, loosened up these two screws here these two screws here took them out removed this whole piece uh, and flipped these teeth around reinstalled them and it's fine so uh, the handles are here and they fit perfectly in there they have a little groove right there where the set screw holds them in place um, i'm going to loosen that up a little bit and this fits should fit in there and then you just tighten it down all right and i am going to take you inside you don't have to get a stand you don't have to make uh intricate uh, bases for these I mean you can buy them if you want to spend the money uh, or if you want to get it foot operated that's another issue but these are not foot operated um, so there you go what I am going to do is I'm going to use the piece of metal I have I'm going to take you in my shop and I'll show you how that works okay what I'm going to do uh, on my bench this is my uh, portable work table and the the reason why I like this is because it is right here, it is three quarter inches thick and it's a nice solid base. And what I ended up doing was drilling a hole in here and I am using this bolt here and underneath, I'll show you, right here and right here is a screw hole. But because you're putting most of the pressure um, in the back, you really don't need a base in the back if you're doing this kind of setup this is how i do it so um screw that in from underneath it secures it it's nice and tight and then you can use it i'll show you in a second um all set up be right back okay i secured the stretcher uh with the bolt from underneath and it's bolted through the table with a washer um, and it's nice and secure you're doing downward pressure so you really don't need one in the back uh, because that's already that's already supported there. So I just uh, want to just tighten up this little set screw a little bit finger tight um, Because I'm going to be taking these apart and moving them, but what I want to show you again Here's the arrows. It's the yellow one. So it's the stretcher. I'm going to bring you over here. I want to make this panel um, Because the only thing that rotted away on the GTO um, 
in this area was right where the rear of the quarter panel is and by me taking it apart this is what happened it's all rotted and falling apart so I'm gonna make this panel here um, it comes up there's a lip right here there's a little lip that comes up here and there's a lip here a welding lip and a welding lip so what I'm gonna do I did it on the other side but uh, I didn't sh make a video of it and I am gonna use this metal here this metal here I already started uh, shrinking this metal here so this piece is actually gonna go right in there just like that so I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna show you but I want to stretch it first um, now in order for me to get this right here I'm gonna shrink the metal so I'm gonna show you how I do that See this piece now it's gonna go in there just like that, I'm going to show you. See how nice that is? I have to bend it a little more. I really don't have to unless I'm replacing the upper part. So I could cut it right where my thumb is, straight across, and then cut this out to replace it. Um, but right there is the radius. I mean, you can see it's, it's a pretty nice radius. I have to go a little tighter on the upper side here. Um, but I'll probably do it a little bit more, but that's all I'm doing. Uh, and I'm going to just show you how that fits when I'm all done. But that's it. So see you on the next one. I'm going to actually shrink this side because I want the bend to go. Actually, I'm going to start here. So all you do is lift it up, um, slide it in, and just push down, all right, just gently. And then just keep moving it every half inch or so and just keep using some pressure pushing down and it would bend and I'll show you uh, the progress as I get closer so I'm just gonna keep doing this because I'm doing it in the middle it's gonna be a little harder to see uh, of this piece here so I'll show you And I'm doing half inch increments and it's actually starting to bend now uh, I'm using pretty much some decent amount of weight to do it because uh, what you're doing is you're you're actually stretching the metal let me show you my progress you see how it's starting to bend right here see that nice little bend um, I'm going to cut it here because I hammered this so I don't need that and I'm going to cut it here and this is going to be that little piece that I'm doing uh, on the bottom half and this piece is going to be on the upper half and I'll show you I want to bend this a little more I'm sorry I'm going to stretch it a little more and then I'm going to cut it and show you exactly what I want to do but um, like I said just move it every I mean, you could use a marker and put uh, half-inch lines in here, but this doesn't have to be accurate because what it's behind the quarter panel, so no one really sees it. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to repair the rusted metal that was there. So uh, just, again, just every half-inch or so. You could put it in there, tighten it, and use two hands to push down. Uh, that'll go quicker. But, you know, you want to do steady movements and uh, just, just gently push down how you want to do it. And this is, like I said, it's the cheapest set I could find. Um, it's not that bad. So... It works fairly well. So, let me show you now. See how much I bent it? And that's not even doing it for like a minute and a half. So, 
Um, actually, I'm not going to do it anymore. I could always shrink it by using the shrinker and bring it back if I bent it too much. So I'm going to show you how this actually is going to come together. This is the stretcher. I switched it out from the, I'm sorry, the shrinker. I stretched it out. I switched it out from the stretcher. So like I said, I need to bend this a little bit more uh, to fit the upper panel over there. So uh, I'm going to show you how I do that. Lift that up a little bit. It's the same principle as the stretcher, but the shrinker, same, same principle, move it in half inch increments uh, and just use your body weight and just keep going back and forth and you'll get a nice radius when you're shrinking the metal. Depends on which way you want it to go. So again, you don't want to move it too much. You just want to move it in like quarter inch, half inch increments, depending on how tight you want to make it. Uh, if you're doing a big panel, you could go further apart, uh, three quarter inch apart, but I'm going to make a nice little tight radius. So just wanted to show you, it's the same principle. Just do that. You could see, I don't know if you could tell from that angle, but it's really coming together. So, uh, let me show you. See, there's the radius because I'm shrinking this, it's bending in a U shape. So, I want to show you that. And this is the sh See, the arrows are pointing in, so it is the shrinker, and the arrows pointing out is the stretcher. So I shrunk this to get, I want this one inch radius, so that's why I'm working with two different pieces. This is the, uh, the stretched piece, because it's, it's a different radius on the different angle that I'm using. This is the two inch side, one inch side, one inch side, two inch side, so that's what I'm doing. All right? So... I'll bring you over here and show you what it looks like. Here's the uh, the metal that I stretched, and it's going to go in here like this. Okay, so I want to show you that. Um, it's right there. Actually, I I uh, stretched it a little too much because I, like I said, I'm gonna I want it in here. Oh, sorry about the lighting. I want it in there. Just see the little gap. So I'll have to shrink it just a little bit, uh, and I'm going to cut this panel right here along this line and weld this in place like this. And what I am going to end up doing is cutting a little lip right here. Um, I don't need this, this much metal, but I'm going to cut that like that. And I just want to show you that's what I use the stretcher for. And this panel here is the shrinker because I am gonna put that in there this I have to shrink just a little more to get the contour of that that metal right there and this is gonna fit in there like this so I am gonna switch out and put the shrinker in there and shrink this and what I'm gonna do is once I shrink it I'm gonna cut it to size and fit it and I'm gonna weld it all together but I wanted to show you this is the shrinker, uh, the black one. Let me, let me bring you over here. Hold on. Okay, this is the shrinker. So I used I used this here. Um, actually, this way here. I, I used this one. Uh, let me lift this up. Show you in there. All right, that was the shrinker over here. But I just wanted to show you that. So. Uh, any questions, comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But that is the use of the shrinker stretcher that I am using on my car. Please leave a comment.